my talk in this morning because uh, yeah, early talk is always disaster. We was rush on the way. <laughs> and thank you all your help to solve the 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 problem for like a, a power charger and uh, <laughs> projectors. <laughs> okay, uh, before I started, explain about the topic open build service in Debian. What does this mean? This means that uh, you know that the uh, uh, open build service OBS is developing by OpenSUSE. They have a platform to build the distributions. And then, um, <clears throat> because we're using this a lot in, in at work, so uh, our employee encouraged me to make an official Debian package. So I make an official Debian package and put it into Debian. So now we can we can set up infrastructure by OBS with Debian. Okay, so this one going to use OBS or not something. We just covered it about what OBS is. I will mention about this. And it show uh, some fitness features, examples. And then in the end, I will um, give you some t um, tips on how to optimize and how to integrate this uh, uh, infrastructure into your build environment. OK, let's start uh, the talk. OK, let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Andrew Lee. Li Jianqiu, I'm from Taiwan, and I have uh, lots of experience on packaging RPN and uh, both Debian package. And I become a Debian developer in um, 2009. And then I, uh, at a lot of time, I was uh, uh, helping to developing uh, LXDE, and also I maintained all the LXDE packages in inside Debian. And then I also changed the Debian installer to make LXD uh, become the uh, optional in the installer. So become make uh, LSD become popular, and then uh, nowadays that I work in the uh, build infrastructure team I at Collabora, and the Collabora, uh, well, I work there more than five years now, and uh, and I use uh, OBS a lot for building a lot of different uh, um, packages and also create distributions for our customers. Okay, let's look at uh, the agenda today. That you can get an overview of OBS, and I will cover the benefit of using OBS and show you some nice uh, workflow for your all packaging and uh, releasing your software needs. And explain that uh, OBS architecture, and show you how possible to scale with more uh, backend uh, workers and uh, builders with the different architectures. And at the end, uh, that uh, our give a few topic about how to um, set up and also how to integrate this into your build environment. Okay, let's uh, into the overview. Okay, before we look at the OBS, let's look at the classic packaging works. Here is the example that if you want to build, you want to build a package, and for your customer, you need to build once and one architecture, and then you need to publish the package on the website or somewhere that the package management system can fetch the package, right? So here is the example that uh, you build on the uh, AMD64, and the distribution is uh, Debian JC. So you need to build, you need to create a clean chute, and a build, and then you have a clean build. Then as long as that the time that your customer have more requests, so you need to build one source package into different um, distributions. So you may provide that uh, a different binary. Now this is the example that you need to maintain a one source but different clean route for different distributions. Like here example that you maintain a Debian JC and a stretch at MD64. Then you build twice and then you upload and then you publish on the site. Just imagine that you get more users request. You now you have a uh, no uh, you need four views for different uh, architecture. You just add one architecture on two different distributions. Now you need to maintain four different clean chute. Here is a Debian a JC, Debian stretch, and uh, for uh, ND64 and the I386. So you need a different chute. And then it becomes very, very messy because if you want to support more and more, like now you bring the, the, the ARM architectures or the, you bring a different distribution, even Ubuntu other different versions, you want to build one source in multiple distribution and multiple architectures. It's really, really messy. You need to have so many clean shoots that you have to maintain yourself and build um, you know, one by one. And then if you build something and then in the middle you found some architecture was failed and you need to modify the source. 
the previous spill you can drop you can need to drop and restart again it costs a lot of time right so let's fix the max okay here you see the picture used to you have the lots of uh, you know the thing you have to upload to website but you have the OBS uh, OBS will automatically do it everything for you just one source upload into OBS and then the max fix now you save a lot of time right <laughs> okay let's uh, look at the, the benefit of uh, using the OBS okay OBS actually he benefits that uh, existing uh, software project and uh, like for uh, packagers or like even the users in different area and have different features distribution multiple architectures so you can see the picture here see there's a different distributions here OBS is built so you just move the one source upload then you can build automatically for those kind of thing and he also after you build automatically publish to the website for the repository so you don't like you have to build and and also uh, um, so you can have those kind of thing to um, uh, to maintain the, 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 the archive just imagine that uh, you have a, a commercial product you want to release and then uh, before the release maybe one week you need to frozen the changes so you need some QA to taste the, 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 the image and then um, there's some bug fix you need a, uh, you, you can have a release manager or someone or QA to, to test before you landed the, the new package so it will be a nice feature for, for, for a team to work on the product and also you may have a quicker view that the package builds on all your need and uh, this is the request that you can see it builds on the all the architectures and the distribution that you request before you land the, the new, new new source package into a repository okay and then uh, for our package maintainer for packagers the obvious benefit you is that uh, he can always use the uh, deep bootstrap to create a clean chute all the time so you can have a reproducible and consistently uh, built for your, your, your packages and if you are user yeah because that the OBS generate that uh, the very nice uh, 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 repository for apt get so you can just uh, put that uh, the sources list in your distribution and then you can you know have have those kind of thing check uh, the package update so that the, the someone update in the package for example uh, I heard of uh, a lot of developers like uh, the, the very cutting edge that uh, very very new packages sometimes the internal company have uh, some many development environment but if you use OBS you can share the internal uh, development tools so when people bump a new version and you have internal repository then you can make sure that your development are, are synced together otherwise it's difficult to deploy that the package on different machine different 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 developers machine right you should have a central uh, tools uh, for that so that will be really nice uh, if you are you maybe you are users from, from your other colleagues packages okay, okay that's uh, look again for the uh, features and uh, uh, workload so that you have more yeah ideas what, what OBS is okay let's look at the uh, um, you build it against the multiple distribution and the architectures this is I mentioned before you can see distribution and different architectures and only one source upload and uh, you also support that the uh, download on demand download on demand is like uh, you want to build the, the OBS source package but you have a different distributions it doesn't mean that you have to have a whole mirror side for all the distribution that you add it automatically fetch the necessary build dependency from the distribution you configured and this feature is the uh, DOD download on demand so here is OBS you can have a, a lot of uh, uh, distribution available there already 
but of course that you can also um, customize and then build your own. Uh, Hector will talk about it. Uh, distribution, multiple uh, architectures, but sometimes you have to difficult to tell the binary, so you can uh, also to uh, add uh, some surface on the, the binary build. So you can put it uh, uh, in different distribution, then you generate a different name, like for example, uh, DB7 point or DB8, so different version or something, you can add the extension in the binary. You can customize it yourself. Okay, then um, also he has a built-in the revision control. So the OBS, every time you have a source upload, it check the changes, you have a change log there, and a different revision. So once you found that, okay, this is a commit was a mistake, then you can always revert. Changes on the, on the repository. So it's very cool. And then um, he has automatically uh, Upload, and then you don't have to work about that. That is automatically processing. For here, example, that we import that the uh, whole distribution has so many packages. You see, more than one thousand package. And he start to, to to build, and on AMD C four, of course, it's faster. So he finished everything. Slower, and sometimes it's failed. And one of this is unreservable, means that missing build dependencies. So, and. If we click on that, you can see easily on the web page. It shows you what kind of uh, dependency is missing. So it's very nice. You can you can find the, the host uh, repository status and what kind of build dependency are missing. And you can suppose that the package you build succeed and also packages that failed. So it's a very nice tool. So you can have a multiple different projects, and you just imagine that you have different um, engineers that work on the same project. So you can have uh, the access control who can uh, uh, review, who can uh, approve the, the new package landed to a, to a production repository, or who can uh, download. You can have SEO on that. If you, it's uh, something is a, a secret uh, project, internal project, you can limit the access of uh, the engineers to each other. Just.